So I'm gonna start this video off by coming through here and taking off the hardware so I can get to these spot welds. Um, I'm going to take this bedside off. I'm actually gonna take them both off. That way I think it'll be a little bit easier to get some of these spots up off top. And I think it'll be easier to replace some of this. But I'm gonna have to get these spot welds off and bend this back a little bit and pull it off. Um, that's what I'm gonna start with. So as you just seen, I got it ground down all the way across all the spot welds. Um, next, I'm gonna be moving up front, just to right here. Then for the last, I'll be moving across the top up here. I'm trying to do the smallest little spot, but my, my belt's a half inch wide, so it's not that easy, but I'm getting it and we'll get it fixed, but I'm gonna get back to work.
I got all of it up, uh, ground down and got all the tack welds apart. This is what it's looking like so far. Um, when I went to take it apart down here, or get it off this slip right here, uh, I pulled right here and there was a piece that was still hanging down right here. And when I pulled this, it ripped it all off. So luckily I made that, um, that template. It's right here. I flattened it out on accident, but that's what it's going to look like. But I just got to go through and grind down the top side, but that's going to have to be another day. It's getting late. Got to get my daughter in bed. So that's a pr pretty productive day for me. And while this is out, I'll clean all that out, clean it up the best I can. Get it um, coated in something to protect it. But I'll catch up with y'all whenever I get back out here again to get this side off. So I finally got some metal. And we're going to get started on this corner back here. We're going to start here and move forward, I believe. So basically we're going to make this section... Then we'll come over here and make this section. And I don't know if you can see, but it has a lip down here. Then it curves over into this section. So <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but you're about to find out and we're gonna find out together. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll show you as much as I can. This is the section we're going to get started with. And we're just going to come over here and put it on a piece of metal. And my metal is a little bit too short to go the direction I hoped it would. So we're going to have to turn it. And I think we're going to leave about a gap like that on this side and we'll eventually bend it over. I think it's going to look something like that.
come up with an idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I have two pieces of angle iron. And on both sides, I'm going to drill a hole. I marked it with a... Probably can't even see it, but... I'm going to drill a hole, and this one already has a hole in it. And I'm going to bolt them together after I slide my piece of metal through. And then I'm going to stick it in my vise. Where the metal can still th stick through. Hopefully it'll hold it in place. And I'll hammer one side down. Uh, that's about the only way I can think to do it with the material that I have. So we're going to try it out and see how it works. So I guess let me get my drill bits and we'll get to drilling this stuff. are and I'm actually going to make it like a stud so I'm just going to tack weld probably on three sides of this the head of each bolt and I'm going to have it where the nut comes on and off that way I can have a different thicknesses um, I think that'll be easier than having the nut welded but I'm just going to drag it over and um, put a couple tacks on it on there sorry if it's not focusing 
Um, you'll probably notice that I'm not using my gas. It's because I'm out. I'm, I had to switch over to flux core. It never does great. made it quick and dirty. I've been meaning to make something like this for a while. Sorry, it's not focusing, but um, now I can flip it over, stick it back in the glass, put it inside that I need it on, and be able to slide my metal in wherever I need it, line my marks up, and send it the way I need it. So for this one, I'd need to go straight down, and same with that one. The second bin I'll just have to play with. I'm just hoping this works as good as I, I think it's going to. This should be able to keep enough pressure on it. I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit, and. We'll test her out, so uh, I'll catch back up with y'all when it's cooled down, and we'll get this bin up, and hopefully it fits. So I let everything cool down, and I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up, or I thought it was. Apparently, I'm going to have to get a wrench. <laughs> double check my measurement before I bend this. I don't want to mess up a piece. So this big jack stand that I have, I went ahead and raised it up and I have it clamped. I'm trying to keep it from twisting because that's what it was doing before. I'm probably going to add another clamp right there. Because it's, it's just twisting my angle iron when I try to bend it. And I'm trying to put a block of wood on here because I don't want to put a bunch of hammer marks in it because I don't have the correct hammer to do this. Um, so I'm just working with what I got. I'm going to use this. I think it's a 1x4 or 1x3 or something. And I'm going to try to work it around. too far so I'm gonna I'm gonna test fit it a couple times That's what it's looking like so far. Not too shabby. Okay, let's go see what it's gonna look like on the truck. Take you along with me. And it's gonna have some extra here, and of course right here, so. And it has extra here because I didn't cut it off completely. I was going to grind it down when I started to make this piece to make it perfect. So, and this is a this is a compound curve. So 
it divots in right here. So I still gotta figure out what to do there. So y'all are all gonna learn with me. I've never done this before. So, but all in all, I'm excited to learn. See or not. It seems to be matching up really nicely. The next thing I'm gonna have to do is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut this section out to do that or what, because I've got to bend that, that way, but I also have to bend that, that way, and that, that way. So, I don't know. I'll probably just stare at it for a few minutes and try to figure out what my next course of action is. I mean. It, it may not be able to pick it up on camera, but it's not flat. So, comes in, so it starts here, goes down, then it'll go down and do like a valley almost. So, I might have to go borrow somebody's shrinker and stretcher to be able to do that part. It really needs to be shrunk like right through here to be able to get that section. And back here, I'll have to score it and bend it in and I'll just weld where I scored back. Because I don't know if you've noticed or not, but this is... 16 gauge and this metal that was here is a lot freaking thinner than that so but yeah i need a shrinker stretcher right there So instead of going and asking somebody if I can use their shrinker, um, I'm going to try to make my own. Um, I saw a video done by Make It Custom where he made one. So if you want to see it, I'd go follow somebody that knows more than me. Um, um, he shows it, shows him using it, and it looked like it did pretty good. His material's a little bit thicker than mine, so I'm gonna, this flat stock, I'm gonna have to cut up and weld two pieces together just to get some more thickness out of it. But I'm basically just gonna follow what he said and I'm gonna try it out. So I just got my, my cutting saw up. I'm gonna cut this angle arm. And, and we'll try to get this made.
just got it welded uh, just on half of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off right where I quit welding. And for my handle, I'm going to make it be this. So I'm going to cut along the weld. I'm going to slide it up on it. Well, that's my plan anyways. But... And I'll, I'll probably, when I slid it, I'll slid it big and I'll hammer this down onto that and weld it solid, so. But that's my plan. Just, to, all this is just extra material I had laying around, so. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It didn't cost me anything. This is all material people has given to me, so. No big deal. last steps not the last step but I need to drill a hole probably right about there I cut I really cut too much out right here I might have to lop some of this off but basically Or I could add to the front. But anyways, your metal is going to sit here. And when you push that to 90 degrees, it puts a crease in it. And that's what uh, shrinks it. So it'll pull and it'll make the, the metal curve and do whatever you need it to do. So, uh, this piece will sit in between here. Right now, I just have them together because uh, making sure that really the, that the bolt fit. But I'm gonna put a hole right about there, and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. <clears throat> Try to get you where you can see it going together. So we got our base. So go uh, bow washer through one side. Then on the back side, I'm gonna put a bigger washer. Then the handle. Sorry, it is still warm. Then, basically the same thing, another washer, then the other side. Then another washer, then the nut. And it's it's not done with so you see how it's sticking out the bottom I need to get rid of that sorry 
Yeah, you see how it's sticking out the bottom? I need to get rid of that. So, basically, when we're at 90 degrees, we, know, we want it barely protruding down. So, I need to mark. And I might add some on to the front of that. Yeah, I might add some of this right there. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'll add that and I'll be right back. Now I got that piece added. And if I did it right, which I still have to clean it up, it should, when you go to 90 degrees, it should, hopefully you can see that. I know it's not back together or anything, but just uh, when I go to 90 degrees, it should basically push the metal in between the two and that'll shrink it. But I'm gonna let this cool down a minute. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put it back in the vise and I'm gonna grind this down and make it flat. Especially the part that's gonna be sandwiched. So right through here and the part that's actually going to be contacting the metal. I ain't worried about I ain't worried about the weld that holds the flat bar to the round or the square stop. I just want to clean this section up. So let me get this disc changed. to move that that hole up a little bit I think I took too much out here and I welded this piece on too high because if you notice you have to go past 90 degrees to do anything I'll, I'll set it up and I'll show you all right I got it set up uh, let me grab a, a piece of sheet metal to take this back off so I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to show you what it does so you stick it in and you pull down and you see how it put that little indention in see it's supposed to like be like that all the way up But I realize it only did it a little bit, but that's what I'm looking for. Um, and to mitigate it from marking, there's you can polish this, you can uh, uh, grind these into like a, a shape too and help with it. But that's basically what you're looking for. And when you want it to keep your shape, the video I watched, they showed um, taking a piece of metal and attaching it to both sides. And you can hammer this out flat with a planishing hammer. And it'll still keep its shape. So that's just, that's just a little bit of what it'll do. But... I'm going to tinker with this thing some more. Um, like I said, I might, I might end up um, moving this bolt hole up and tapering this more. So making this contour come from here and go up with it. That way you can get more of a stroke on it. 
So I think this video is getting long enough. Um, in the next episode, we're going to tackle this and get it completely done. Um, the plan as of right now is to go ahead and get the bender back on here and the vise bend this 90 degrees. Then I'll use this shrinker and stretcher to put the curve in it where it needs to go. So it really needs to have a curve in it. I think it's like right there. I'll mark for sure before I do it, but yeah, I need to bend that, get it where it needs to curve. Then I'll start on this side. So, but I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope maybe I learned something. Um, but I will catch you on the next one.